Hello and welcome to Shohini's Kitchen. So today we are going to see how the Bengali sweet shops makes their amazing khasta kochuris. So let's take a look at the ingredients for making these delicious khasta kochuris. The recipe will make 11 to 12 khasta kochuris. We will need 3 tablespoons of clarified butter or ghee, 2 cups of maida or all purpose flour, 1/2 teaspoon of ajwain or carom seeds. and salt as per your taste now i used 1 teaspoon of salt add all the ingredients to a mixing bowl when you will add the carom seeds or ajwain crush them little bit in between your palms before adding them to the all purpose flour now add the ghee or the clarified butter i have added 3 tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter to 2 cups of maida when you try to make a ball after mixing all the ingredients together very well with your fingers the ball should form that should be the exact consistency and then add water little by little and make a dough which is neither too soft nor too hard Now let the dough rest for at least 15 to 20 minutes by covering it and putting it aside. I have taken an inch of ginger and 3 green chilies and made them into a paste and 1/4 cup of gram flour or besan is also needed. 1/2 cup of moong dal or yellow lentil has been washed and soaked for at least 2 hours. For the spices we need Half teaspoon of asafoetida or hing, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon amchur powder, and black salt or beet salt, half teaspoon. We also need one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one and a half teaspoons of coriander seeds, half teaspoon of black peppercorns, one and a half teaspoons of fennel seeds, one teaspoon of dried fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi, and two dried red chilies. Salt and sugar, as per your taste, and oil for cooking. Turn on the gas and place a thick flat bottomed pan on it. Now add cumin seeds, fennel seeds, the coriander seeds, the black pepper corns and the dried red chilies one teaspoon of kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves roast all the spices on the heat until they turn brownish in color as soon as you see little bit of smoke coming out from the mixture Turn off the gas and put it aside. Now we will crush these dry roasted spices into a coarse mixture. The mixture should look like this. The moong dal which has been washed and soaked for at least 2 hours will be crushed into a coarse paste. Coarsely grind the moong dal or the yellow lentils, which has been resting for at least two hours now. Keep this in mind that the moong dal should not be made into a fine paste. Being soaked in water for at least two hours now, the moong dal has softened, and this is how the paste should look like. Now we will roast the besan or the gram flour on a flat bottomed pan until it changes its color little bit. and then we will add 4 tablespoons of oil to the pan dry roasting the besan or gram flour will remove the raw taste from it now add the asafoetida or hing now 
Next we will add the ginger and the green chilli paste. Mix all the ingredients together and fry them on the pan for some time. Now combine all the ingredients together and soon you will see a crumbly mixture begins to form. Next we will add the coarsely grounded dry roasted whole spices to the mixture and combine all the ingredients very well. Now time to add the other spices. Turmeric powder 1/4 teaspoon. A teaspoon of cumin powder. One teaspoon red chili powder, keep mixing. Now add some salt, add salt as per your taste. Now we will add half teaspoon of black salt or peat salt. Now add the amchur powder. Now we will add the coarsely grounded moong dal paste. Mix all of them together. And keep frying until a coarse powder is formed. The mixture should be crumbly. Now at this point, after tasting the mixture, I have added some salt to it and then some sugar. I have added almost little bit more than 2 tablespoons of sugar. Now add the garam masala powder. Keep stirring and mix all the ingredients together very well. The filling for the khasta kachoris is ready. Keep it aside and let it cool down to room temperature. Now this dough has been resting all this time. We will knead it little bit more and then make small balls out of it. Now this is how you will be making the balls. Take one ball in your hand and slowly flatten it by pressing it on the sides. While flattening make sure that the center is thick because the center will hold the weight of the filling. If it is too thin, then it will break. Make little rounds like this and fill it with 1 to 2 teaspoons of the kachori filling. Seal the sides by bringing them together and pressing them lightly. Make sure the filling stays inside and it is sealed from all sides. Then slowly bring all the sealed parts together and make a ball. While making the ball, if there is any excess part of dough, just remove it. Flatten the ball by lightly pressing it on the sides and then coming to the center and pressing it lightly again. Now before the kachoris are fried, they should look like this. Now do the same with all the other balls with the filling. Make the ball and remove any extra part of dough from it 
and then flatten it by pressing it on the sides lightly and then slowly coming to the center and pressing it again. We are all set to fry the khasta kachoris. Place a wok on heat and fill it with oil. Now check if the oil is hot by putting in little bit of dough into the oil. There would be bubbles all around and the dough will not rise to the surface of the oil immediately. You will know then that this is the right temperature for frying the kachoris. Fry the kachoris by keeping the heat on low to medium. It should take about 10 to 15 minutes for frying each kachori. Now fry them until they turn golden brown in color. The color at which we get them in the Bengali sweet shops is a little bit darker than the goldenish brown color. I will try to make as close as the ones we get in the Bengali sweet shops. The khasta kachoris are ready. We will pick them up from the oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towel. Now in the same way we will fry the rest of the kachoris. Now fry these kachoris unless they have reached the goldenish brown color and then pick them up and place them on a plate lined with paper towel just like we did for the previous batch of kachoris. So the khasta kachoris are ready. Now let's break the kachoris and test if they are really khasta enough. Wow, did you hear the crunch? And now even if you turn the broken kachoris upside down, the filling would not fall off. The Bengali style khasta kachori is delicious and a must try. It is perfect for snacks and goes very well with tamarind chutney. If you try this recipe at home, don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments below. Like, share and comment if you like this recipe. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications. Follow Shohini's Kitchen on Facebook and Instagram. The links of my Facebook page and Insta account are given in the description. Thank you for visiting Shohini's Kitchen and keep visiting for more recipes.